these are the limitations of planning firstly we have is rigidity now what this rigidity is all about there is a lot of uh, time which has been consumed to prepare a plan planning process is a time consuming process because it takes long time to evaluate Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I am Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College the Temple of Excellence welcome to the next session of planning here you need to understand that the last session I spoke about the merits or advantages of planning now we need to know that planning also have something called limitations now what exactly the limitations of plannings are now please understand when we have a boon we also have a being though planning is a future course of action it bridges the gap between what you are and what you want to be but still when we go with the limitations here you will understand that all plans will not lead to success all plans will not lead to success will not lead to success See, when we go with this, all plans will not lead to success. You need to understand that planning also have something called a failure. Now, when we go with this, you need to understand that it all depends on what. There are two types of environment, namely micro environment and macro environment. Planning will never play its role when there is a dynamic nature or dynamic things which will happen in the course of action. The reason is it is not uh, ready to accept the immediate changes that's why we say planning is rigid right so planning leads to rigidity that is a time when we understand that the plan which we thought it is flexible it is convenient for us but after it is implemented you cannot alter it because it becomes rigid planning may not work see please understand this may work as well as may not work in dynamic environment when we understand dynamic environment planning will be uh, very good if we go with the entire total plan which we have done but if some factor affects it say macro environment affects it now there will be a kind of a jerk where planning will be a harm and we cannot continue those plan say i'll give you an example here India and uh, Sri Lanka they are into import and export and the person who goes with this import and export uh, an Indian who have planned that within uh, two days will uh, do the shipment from India to Sri Lanka now the planning everything is done right but there is a call for a tsunami or there is a problem within the uh, climatic conditions now what happens whatever you have planned it cannot be fruitful the reason is what because of the dynamic environment planning really fails it reduces creativity now understand the word creativity what happens here is the all the plans whichever happens here now it is done by the top level management now the top level management will not take the considerable advices or suggestions by the middle level as well as the supervisor level when they don't take that consideration or the considerable suggestions or advices what happens is they suppress the people who are experienced than them so probably the person who is the top level may be a, young, a younger ceo or younger cfo now those people they lack something called experience but the people who are in the middle level who are serving that particular company for uh, 50 years or 20 years now what happens is when they don't take it the planning will actually reduces their creativity next one is planning involves huge cost let me tell you what exactly this huge cost is all about to plan you are supposed to do market survey market research and you are supposed to actually take people who are strategists so they will be paid very high and once you make the entire plan and if it will not give you a fruitful result and it's a failure what happens is whatever you have done whatever you have actually gone through all those things is a waste that's why we always say that planning is a huge cost and planning is not done just for one day or two day you require at least three months or four months to plan the long-term plans and you should see the feasibility also and you should actually go with the 
proper statistics about whether it can be feasible, it can be done or can we have a fruitful uh, type of planning. Next, it is time consuming. I told you it involves huge cost. It also involves huge consumption of time. There are certain projects which the multinational companies does and the planning which they take is probably one year or two year for the future course of action which they usually do it. Planning does not guarantee success. That is what I always want every student to know that this is a very important uh, thing which you people should know that is all plants will not lead to success. Even in your life, you would have done so many plants and you thought that whatever you are doing right now, it will be a successful plan. But how many times even you have failed in doing so? The reason here is planning will not guarantee you success. Now, what exactly the meaning of guarantee here is, even if you follow the exact plan with controlling and directing, still what happens is somewhere or the other, there will be a loophole, somewhere or other, there will be a dynamic nature, somewhere or other, there will be uncertainty or something which will come in between so that you cannot achieve what you really wanted to do it. And last one is this, you need to accept it saying that planning lack of accuracy that is you cannot go with the exact whatever you plan will you get the exact no you may get more you may get less but you will not get the exact so these are the limitations of planning firstly we have as planning leads to rigidity planning may not work in dynamic environment it reduces creativity planning involves huge costs it is time consuming process planning does not guarantee the success and lastly we have is lack of accuracy so we'll check one by one what exactly these things always explains us the first one here you need to know is all about rigidity now what does rigidity is all about now once plans are made to decide the future course of action the manager please understand here who will be the person who will do all these things that is he will guide and he will direct all the people is the manager when we go with this planning you need to understand as what the top level the middle level and the supervisory level top level are the one who will plan but the real person who will get the work done is the middle level that's why we need to always understand what exactly the manager does manager may not be in a position to change them the reason is it is done by the top level management and manager need to execute it following predefined plan when circumstances are changed may not bring positive result for organization this kind of rigidity in plan may create difficulty now until unless you plan for anything what happens is the steps in planning which i have done in the session two and the session three if you understand those sessions you will get to know now Whenever we go with planning, what happens is we are supposed to first identify what is the objective which we are supposed to do and then we are supposed to develop our premises. After that, you need to identify alternate course of action. When you find the alternate course of action, planning is really flexible. When you go with alternate course of action and then you require a lot of uh, time for evaluating and selecting. Once the selection is done, now what happens is the rigidity grows. Now here you need to understand once plans are made, that is you have selected the plan and now you are ready to implement it to decide the future course of action. The manager may not be in a position now. There is nobody who is in a greater position where they can change anything if something happens. Now after selecting the plan, when you implement it and follow up, the actions what really happens is you find that there is a uncertainty which is going to happen say two or three days later now you cannot change the entire plan the reason is what the budget is allotted people are involved cost is there then you have done all the physical resources and everything is done now it is only the thing is the plan what you have planned should be executed because of uncertainty and risk now what happens you cannot change it because of its rigidity nature next one we have is planning may not work in dynamic uh, nature or dynamic function so you are supposed to know that the way dynamic comes here is it's all because of two factors. One is the micro environment 
and uh, one more is our macro environment. So we have micro versus the macro. Now here micro when I say within the company you can control it. If it is within the company, you can actually control it. But if it is outside the company, like the market, you really cannot control. You really cannot, really can't control. So these are the things which you people should know that if something happens the macro way, it will be what? The micro will get affected. Now, best example is say the company can be controlled by the uh, boss, but what happens if the budget says something else? Now, what about the political situation, the social situation, the environment that is economic environment situation, technological environment situation happens is whatever we have planned, which will be totally different because of the environment as well as the legality when it comes to rules and regulation. Now we have planned for some kind of a thing and then within no time the political environment said that whatever the business is do is done by these people are all uh, different and they will not get a license. Now what will happen is you need to shut down the business. Now business environment is very dynamic as there are continuously changes taking place in economic political and legal environment so they are dependent on what they are dependent on the macro environment though micro environment is independent but you are supposed to depend on macro environment it becomes very difficult to forecast that is to predict or to see the future these future changes plants may fail if the changes are very frequent so these are the things which you are supposed to know that's why students what really happens is anybody who wants to invest in the foreign direct investment, what is that they see is they always see the economic, political and legal environment. If you understand how and why US uh, being a country which is a democratic one is having so much trouble because of uh, Donald Trump and the new presidential candidate. The reason if you understand here is it's a macro environment where the political environment and the legal environment come into place. But there are so many other people who don't want to invest in USA only because of these kind of cures. After the cures is all settled, then they'll start investing. So you need to understand that th these are the things which are totally dependent. That is micro is totally dependent on macro. So that's why we say planning will not work in dynamic nature. Next one we have it reduces creativity. How exactly it reduces creativity? You need to understand that with the planning, the manager of the organization start working rigidly and they become the blind followers of the plan only. So here what happens is you will stop thinking and start working when you go with stop thinking and start working what happens is you're not giving importance to your creativity your creativity is suppressed by somebody who have already planned the managers do not take any initiative to make changes the reason is everything is designed and it is given to you you are supposed to only work and implement those plans in the plan according to the changes prevailing in the business now here what happens is the environment, they, uh, the business environment when they go with it, they stop giving suggestions and new ideas to bring improvement in working because uh, the guidelines for working are given in the planning only. So here what happens is you will not uh, take any of initiative or you will not think about should we change these plans or not. You will not give any suggestions. You will only work as a machine. So that is a time you feel that the planning will definitely suppress one's creativity. The next one is it is huge cost. Now when I said that it will not give anybody the awareness of creativity the same way to design the entire plan. What happens is who should do what at what particular time. There is a lot of uh, time which has been consumed to prepare a plan. For meanwhile, what happens is you should actually call all the top senior managers who are experienced and they are supposed to design a plan and then they are supposed to give it to the middle level for execution and the supervisor levels will be there 
who will actually get the work done efficiently and effectively. So what happens is the people who are the senior managers now when they come and they work for it, they ask for more remuneration and incentives. So planning process involves a lot of cost because it is an intellectual process that is the brain game is what it is and companies need to hire the professional experts. See when they hire the professional experts to carry on these process along with the salary of these uh, experts, the company has to spend a lot of time and money to collect accurate facts. Though accuracy is not there, at least you will get a raw data which you will be converted into a primary data and a secondary data and the figures will also be proper. So it is a cost consuming process. If the benefits of planning are not more than its cost, then it should not be carried on. That is again, they, what exactly they do is they check each and everything and they imagine what will be the end course of action. If it is giving a profit, then they'll go for it. If it will not, still what happens is the salary for the expert are given to the expertise. Now what happens here, it will be a huge cost and a burden for the company. But for a long run, if you understand, though it is a huge cost, planning always demands or planning always demands uh, more time and uh, more intellectual process wherein you need to spend a lot of time, energy and resources. So that's the reason we always say that planning involves huge cost. And you need to understand that though you have given the huge cost, but what is the outcome? If the outcome is less than that, why is that whatever you have done is all waste? Next one is the planning consumes, uh, that is, it is a, a time consuming process. Planning process is a time consuming process because it takes long time to evaluate the alternatives and select the best one. So when we go with the steps in planning, we uh, already got to know that what exactly planning steps are. That is, you need to go with objective, then develop premises, then alternative course of action. See, example, you have five alternative course of action and you need to select one best. Now you need to check each and everything and then you are supposed to list out the pros and the cons of each alternative course of action which is a time consuming process then each one you are supposed to take it and imagine till the last and what exactly the result would be so what happens is you will when you evaluate all these things then again time is consumed you are supposed to analyze them and why these things have happened you are supposed to go with the uh, uh, corrective actions or deviations or controlling factors which you are supposed to do so it becomes what uh, a time consuming process because of this the action gets delayed and uh, whenever there is a need for prompt and immediate decisions then have to avoid planning so these are the things which you people should know that planning is a time consuming process all plans will not lead to success that is what i always tell because planning will not give you a guaranteed success sometimes managers have to false a uh, sense of security that plans have worked successfully in past so the that will be like working in future also definitely sometimes what happens is the manager whoever have planned they feel that once they would have got success and again they want to do the same thing but here they will not get success the reason is uh, change is the only constant which really happens because of the micro environment and the macro environment Planning will not be the same if you go with it. The reason I'll uh, give here and the example which I will give it to you is earlier the way teachers used to teach. Now if we go with the same kind of teaching what happens is people will not take it. The reason is here offline teaching is not there. It's only the online teaching. Now you are supposed to get accustomed with the online teaching as well. So but still I'll tell you. Online teaching also will not give a guarantee success for a student to pass in all the subjects. There is a tendency in managers to rely on pre-tested plans that is whatever was already done. He feels that it is the same thing if we continue again we will get a profitability which is very wrong. It is not true that if a plan has worked successfully in past it will bring success in future very true please understand this once you got success because of 
what you have done again you will not get the same success if you repeat the action also has there are so many unknown factors which may lead to failure of the plan in future so those factors are what it can be anything when we go with uh, the uh, environment it can be economical environment political environment technological environment it can be human uh, tendency or human trend which will change it can be any factor which will actually change a plan and lastly we have as lack of accuracy yes in planning we are always thinking in advance and planning is concerned with future only and the future is always uncertain in planning many assumptions are made to decide about future course of action but these assumptions are not 100% accurate so you cannot guarantee 100% in any of the plan and if these assumptions do not hold true in present situations or in future condition then whole planning will fail so we got to know that 100% whatever you plan will not happen and whatever the data you have collected also will not be 100%. So here the thing is in planning we are always thinking in advance and planning is concerned with future only and future always is uncertain. When future itself is uncertain how can you predict or you can actually go with 100% accuracy that is like uh, you don't know what's going to happen, but you are just giving an assumption saying that this will only happen. But it is what? It is a limitations of planning. Hope guys you enjoyed this video. If you have uh, understood this, please uh, like and share. And I'll tell you what it is. The limitations and the advantages is definitely a short question in your main examination. So please go through all these videos and understand. Thank you so much. And uh, one more thing which I have brought to your notice is there is one more uh, called external uh, limitations. Now what exactly the external limitation is also please understand. External limitations of planning here we have this I have listed that is one, two, three, four, five things only for you people understand. One is natural calamity. Now you have planned everything but there is a disaster. Now who can help? right so we can go with the uh, act of god as a thing and then uh, we can uh, take a con compensation of the insurance but still what it is the plan whatever you have done is all ruined only because of natural calamity changes in competitor policy now you have done a policy comparing your competitor now again your competitor have uh, performed a plan according to your policies now what happens is you need to change your policies or else you will lose your customers Change in taste, fashion and trend. Now, you went with one of the type of plan where you wanted to introduce a new technology to people. Now, there is a change or a sudden shift of uh, the people. Now, what happens is whatever you have done, it is all a waste. Change in technologies. Now, earlier we used to go with chalk and talk. Now, it is all the digital words. Now, why it is? It's all because of the latest technology which we people should be friendly change in government and economic policy now one of my friend who started uh, poultry farming right one of my friend who started with poultry farming and he used to get subsidiaries now the government actually said that there is no subsidiary for certain limits now what happened is whatever he wanted to go with he couldn't do it only because of the government policies now one more thing is now we, he started with the bird, uh, bird uh, breeding and uh, that is the hen breeding poultry farming and he got to know that there is a bird flu now people will not buy it now that is also a factor so please understand all these are what they are the macro environment which always affect the micro environment so thank you so much here if you have understood i'll repeat again please like and share i'll see you when I see you.